Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at adding placeholders with the shape frame tools in Adobe InDesign. So to start with, I've created my new A4 document here. And in the toolbar on the left, if you left click and hold on this icon, we have the rectangle frame tool, the ellipse frame tool, and the polygon frame tool. Now adding these placeholders to a document is great because it can identify to both yourself or someone else who may be using the document that the image isn't ready yet or this is where some images or some text is going to go. So it depends if you haven't received it yet, you can just mark this with a placeholder and then when you get the image, you can drop that in. So let's go ahead and select the rectangle frame tool. So you can just left click and drag and it looks like a standard rectangle. However, if you switch the preview mode, so you've got these two options here, the shortcut key for this is W on the keyboard. So you can see here that our placeholder has a big cross through the middle. This signifies that there is a graphic here, there is some content and it hasn't been filled yet. So we can adjust the size of this, of course, depending on where our image is going to sit. What I like to do when using this technique to lay up pages in InDesign is to go into the swatches palette, just double click on any swatch and then just give it a shade of gray. So when you're laying up pages, using different shades of gray just takes all the creativity out of it. You're just focusing on taking all the content that needs to go on the page and you're focused on laying that out correctly. Once you've laid it out correctly, then you can start adding your images, your creativity, your design polish and all that cool stuff. So let's just use placeholders to lay up an example page. So we can just drag these into place. So there's going to be a nice big image here. Let's draw another one with a slightly different shade of gray, just so it stands out against this lighter shade. So this can be another shade here, another placeholder. In fact, let's have a few of these going down here. So these are going to be related images. We have a hero image here on the left. These are going to be kind of related supporting images. And we can add another one below. So let's just add one more. This is going to be something separate here. And let's just finish this off with some text. So we can select our text tool, left click and drag to create a text box, and then type your title awesome title there we go and we'll just increase the size of that and then what we can also do is select the type tool again and left click and drag remember if you do click with the type tool on one of the placeholders it will add that text within that placeholder itself so if you want to do that fine however if you don't I would recommend just clicking anywhere outside of your placeholder frame. So you can see here when I mouse over it, it turns to like a circular dotted line and if I mouse off of it, it's square. So what we want is the square because I can then create this and then drag this over my placeholder image. I can size this up where I think the text is going to go. And then if I select the text tool and just type back in that box. I can go up to type at the top and then select fill with placeholder text. Now this is of course gibberish but it will give you an idea of how the page is going to look and how your layout is going to come together. Just by adding in some placeholder text you can start to get an idea for how it's all going to come together. So let's just increase the size of this. So this is where my placeholder hero image is going to be. It's going to be a photo of someone or a person here with some related text. We've got some supporting images on the right and we've also got another image down here. And we can select both pieces of text holding shift and then just hold down the alt key and drag and it will create a copy of that. And then we can just drag that around. 
down here. Now, all of this text doesn't fit into this smaller text box, so we can just delete that and then go back up to type, fill placeholder text, and we've added some more placeholder text to fill that space nicely. And let's just change that just so it fits in. So there we go. There's an introduction to adding placeholders in Adobe InDesign. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time.